Hey Leo, hope you guys are all really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Now it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And also that means that the roles can be reversed even if you are cross-watching. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. I want to focus more on your energy, <clears throat> whereas usually I look into both you and your person's energies. This time it will be more, mostly focused on you and also just a little bit for another person. You can always check out your person's sign if you would like to see more about them and see if that resonates. Or you can get a personal reading. <laughs> All right, so Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first half of October. 2022. Let's see what is going on with you. All right. And for the situation, we have ooh, the lovers crossed by the tower. Wow. Okay, Leo. Um, definitely a very deep soul connection here. Somebody that you have a lot of strong feelings for. And this person also has a lot of strong feelings for you. Um, th something's about to give here. Something's, uh, something's about to happen. I feel like, you know, things feel like right now they're at a breaking point. Um, almost like it's going to be like a make or break is the way that it's coming in. And yeah, I feel like that's actually the challenge here, allowing that to happen. Let's see the recent past. We have a strength. Okay. There is you in your energy. Um, I feel, and I actually feel like, yeah, you know, this is probably a situation that you have endured for a pretty long time and you've shown a lot of strength for this. Whether you realize it or not, you have built up a lot of strength. This has toughened you up, whatever this is. Uh, let's see, I will just get the rest of them for your consciousness. We have the Seven of Wands. For your subconscious, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Your current energy, the Five of Pentacles. The external influence, which could be your person, the king of swords, near future, the magician, and potential outcome or message for you is the ten of wands. All right, Leo. Um, let's see. I feel like we had that seven of wands for Aries in the exact same position, actually. Um, it does feel a little bit differently for you, though. I feel like this is just you really standing your ground. Um, in some way, you are feeling like, okay, you know, whatever it is that needs to be done, you know, like, I want to do that even if it's hard. Um, but there is a little bit of defensiveness as well, like just up against something here. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, Subconsciously, you're working towards something. It's like you're focusing on something and I don't know how aware you are of that, but there's a lot that is happening underneath all of this within your own self and you are making this progress. And again, I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you just don't even realize how much work is being done subconsciously or underneath it all. In your current energy though, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So you are feeling a loss. You're feeling like either alone um, possibly, you know, um, just a lot of either solitude or just feeling like, you know what, I, I, I just have to process this loss or you're just processing it. Um, the external influence here, the King of Swords, there is someone here who seems to be very, very determined in some way. But again, I'm going to wait to clarify to see what that is about. In the near future, we have the Magician. So something is being manifested here. And I do feel like, you know, it has to do with that tower. There's a make or break, like something is going to give here. And whatever that is, you have all the tools that you need in order to, number one, make that happen. And number two, deal with it, cope with it. You know, you you can manifest here whatever it is that you want. Um, I mean, we can't manifest specific people necessarily, but we can manifest happiness, fulfillment, love. And the message for you, the Ten of Wands, release, release the burden of this, release whatever it is that is not allowing you to let go and to br bring that tower down. Allow that tower to fall. Just allow it to fall, whatever that is for you. 
And I feel like, you know, that could be what you are guarding against. That could be where you are being a little bit defensive here. So let's see. Let's clarify the lovers with the tower. Okay, so we do have Gemini showing up. We do have Aries. Um, could be dealing with an Earth sign or another Leo. That's what I am mostly getting here. But of course, you could be dealing with any sign. And again, the roles can be reversed. So let's see. Lovers and the tower. The Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Yeah, you're holding on to this. You're holding on to this tower. Um, whatever that means for you, right? Holding on to something that, you know, needs to just fall, needs to be destroyed. It could be a belief. It could be um, a thought. It could be, you know, the, a relationship or just an aspect of a relationship or even an aspect of your own self. Whatever this is, you're holding on to it very, very tightly. And I feel like the more that you do that, like the more difficult it actually gets. But your intuition is here. Your intuition is speaking to you. Yeah. And again, I feel like this is kind of similar to Aries. Um, so maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. Definitely let me know. And I do, I do get that, you know, part of this work that you have been doing on yourself, whether you realize it or not, is learning how to just bring all of this into balance, you know, like how much of this can you hold on to, but then also release what needs to be released. Let's see strength for the recent past. The four of cups and the nine of pentacles. So a big part of what you may have learned here or what it is that you've gained strength towards is disappointment. Um, you know, coming to terms with something not having worked out the way that you thought it would have by now. And a big part of this is also you learning to be self-reliant, you learning to be on your own, you learning to be independent. And in some way or another, you know, some disappointment here has actually led you to increase your sense of self-worth and how self-reliant you are, even if that means not financially necessarily, but emotionally. Emotionally, you know, not having an attachment, knowing that you don't need someone else necessarily. Yeah, you know, it's still hard. It can still feel very lonely. And it is, it is disappointing. Like, I see that. Um, I can definitely pick up on the sense of disappointment and sadness. But n know that this sadness, having had to learn to be on your own, is something that has toughened you up in a way that is actually going to serve you in the in the future um even possibly for you know another relationship or you know a connection here with this person that you're thinking of let's see the seven of wands the four of wands and the six of pentacles the Six of Pentacles in this particular deck is slightly different than in most decks, okay? So don't expect like a traditional um, interpretation here from me. I do do these readings intuitively anyway. Um, so yeah. I feel like you're holding on to the idea of of a coming together with a particular person, I maybe even as specifically as marriage. Um, but in some way, this, you know, a stability of some sort within a particular connection here. And that is what is so hard to release. That is so, what is so hard to, you know, um, allow it to just fall. Because I feel like it is in that kind of a state, allow it to fall because then it could be actually rebuilt. But in order for it to be rebuilt, in order for it to, you know, come into your life or in order for something to come into your life, this needs to actually fall. Um, and it does feel like a death of some sort. We don't have the death card, but it feels like a death. <laughs> and it's like you want to hold on to that. I feel like, you know, there's a part of you that just wants to give energy to this.
and this is why you're being defensive against that tower. Yeah, very similar to Aries. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with an Aries. Again, doesn't have to be, but I would be interested to know. Let's see this Eight of Pentacles in your subconscious, because there's lots that's happening here. Oh, well, there's the death card. <laughs> okay, so Scorpio, um, and I'm not surprised to see that. And then the Three of Cups. Moving towards this ending is actually going to move you towards happiness, towards some kind of a possible reconciliation with somebody from your past, or just, you know, to some kind of, some kind of a meeting um, with others or a particular other that is actually going to be very positive, very happy. This is what you are working towards, all right? But that ending, there's an ending here, a transformation. Something needs to happen, some kind of a transition. And I feel like it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner for you. Let's see the five of pentacles in your energy. the Knight of Swords, and the Tower again. It's, I, I feel like it's happening quickly. It's happening really quickly. Um, not only that, this is oftentimes also advice. And I mean, yeah, you're feeling the loss of this, but it's one of those things where it's like, you know, just, just let it be what it is. You know, and the, the more quickly it happens, like the less painful it's going to be. I'm even getting, you know, you're, you're feeling restless because you can feel this coming up where you either you're just going to, to release this or someone else is going to release something, but I feel like it's mostly for you, um, allowing this tower to just fall. So that could even just mean, you know, allowing yourself to feel the sadness, allowing yourself to feel that emptiness. It's okay to feel that. Allow yourself to just feel it so that you can get it out of your system. That's what you've been working towards. Just allow, allow that. Like, just accept that tower for what it is. Even if it's something that hasn't happened yet. Even if it's something that is just coming up. Allow yourself to, to, to fully, like, experience that. And it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I feel like it's something that's going to be um, over with, like, a lot more quickly than you think. All right, with that Knight of Swords. It's going to happen quickly as long as you just allow yourself to just feel that. Because it's like, you know, if you're just dragging it on, it's just, it, it just makes it more painful. All right, let's see this King of Swords for the external influence here. The Two of Wands and the King of Cups. There is someone here. Um, there's someone here who seems to be very, very determined. I'm also getting that this is somebody who has possibly matured a lot um, during this time period, both when it comes to the way that they think rationally as well as in terms of their emotions. This is someone though who has been delaying, possibly making a decision. Like there's, the determinism is there, but it's almost like they're on hold and it's because this tower needs to happen. Now it could be that they also have a tower, like this tower could also be attached to them, but it is definitely in some way also related to you energetically. So it's like by you allowing yourself to experience this tower, that could also help them to get out of this paused mode that they are that they are in because there's a lot of emotions here there's a lot of love here from this person but it's like it's 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 being put on hold there's something that this person is thinking um, that they're very clear about, especially in terms of their emotions, their love um, that they have and that they do have this for you, but they're not taking action on it quite yet. All right, let's see the magician for what is coming up in the near future. And we have the wheel of fortune and the five of cups, which is similar to the five of pentacles. And I swear we like, we got such similar cards for Aries. There's, there's a shift. The wheel is turning. There is a shift here. 
um, you can manifest this change, but this change in order for things to shift really does require processing some kind of a loss here. It's that tower and it's not fun. I know it's not fun, <laughs> um, but it's going to change things for the better. It's going to bring about something very, very positive for you. Like you just need to release something here. Let's see the Ten of Wands. The Two of Cups and the Fool. Exactly. As soon as you release something, as soon as you release this, as soon as you allow that tower to fall and just like be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to be in the middle of this tower. I, I just have to go through it. Like once that happens, two of cups and the fool, a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in love. It's coming in. I knew it. <laughs> Leo, it's not easy. It's not easy, but you got this, all right? You are this freaking magician. You are this magician. Allow that tower to fall, whatever that is for you. Okay, so let's see. Leo, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have clean it up. And this is all about, you know, actually doing what you don't want to do, what might feel like it's difficult, what might feel like it's a chore. So yeah, take that as it resonates for you. And I thank you so much for watching and much love.